have a lot of musical instrument devices, MIDI devices, audio hardware, microphone. I have tons. Did I really just start off bossing? I, I mentioned this because I want to talk to y'all about the importance or what you actually need when it comes to music devices. Here is going to be the truth about owning these musical devices. Actually, before that, okay, let's make something and then I'll continue. I feel like I used this before. That's the one I want. Oh, that's precious right there. Very, very precious. Just like that. Yeah, I like it. So you may be noticing already, hey, why are you using this keyboard and not this keyboard? It's just to show you that you can use the bare minimum. At minimum, you need is a computer keyboard, which comes with your computer, a microphone, audio interface if you need it, if not, a USB microphone, and if not, even just a laptop. If you are using a laptop, you can do everything and anything with it. True story, that's how I started working on music in the first place. I was using a laptop. Yes, this is cringe, <laughs> but this computer right here in the background, this is a Dell Latitude D600. Hold on. This is my OG baby. I used this thing until it couldn't even breathe anymore. I mean, look at this. Fictality. Fictality. As far as uh, <laughs> the microphone that I used, <sighs> let's see if you can see what... <laughs> <laughs> um, if you want, go ahead and drop in the comments down below what you think this is and where this came from. But yeah, all you really need is the bare minimum. I'm gonna add a little boom boom. There you go. Getting the money and flipping the dope. You already know we snorting the coke. Uh, uh. Wow. So I want one of those. That works. So you may be thinking to yourself, okay, sure, you get the bare minimum. When do I actually get more than the bare minimum? When do I start getting better quality instruments or better quality MIDI devices per se? This is my thing, all right? Before I had all these audio hardware stuff for mastering, by the way, hit your boy up at justinomoe.com. Before I had all these audio mastering hardware devices, I stuck it in the box, AKA I was in FL Studio mastering stuff with FL Studio plugins. Buy these devices when you are one, going to make a profit. Of course, if you're stinking rich, you could get it. <laughs> but, but also if it's going to give you value and save you time, that's when you should start looking into getting better devices. Like that. I like both of these. I think just a short, fat one. Now let's just give this hi-hat a little bit more life to it. There we go. We need bass. 
play with it. It just decays. The, oh, okay. You thought I was a madman for a second, didn't you? Alright, let's just make this quick and dirty. Just routing in here. going to drop all these right here let's throw in the mastering plugins now you saw I just used digital plugins as I just mentioned I do have analog hardware stuff why don't I just use that and show y'all and show you the better quality the best quality I haven't been doing that because it's not really worth it I can make just as beautiful music or sounds with what I have inside the computer I don't need the outboard gear you ever seen like Soldier Boy, for example, making that Soldier Boy song? Uh, crank that Soldier Boy. <laughs> All straight up in FL Studio, no outboard gear for what I know. Nothing that made people say, oh, damn, that's the Rollins synth. The mainstream audience doesn't even know what the hell the word MIDI means, you know? <laughs> you might hear things that you could pick up and be like, oh man, I wish this thing wasn't this bit rate. I wish the sample could have been thing X, Y, Z. I wish uh, I had more saturation in there. The audience does not know. They don't know what they don't see or care for. Like you could put 10% into a creation, 20, 25%, 50%, 75, 80, or even 99% into a song or into anything you create or do what you show to the audience the audience will always perceive it as a hundred percent because it's the final result that you're showing it's not going to be like oh you could have used this device in there and make it sound so much better they don't know they don't care so just like how you were listening to this beat just now i'm just going to go ahead and hit play and in your own consumer mindset not a musical mindset be like wow here here off on. In your head, you're like, yo, this sounds louder. It sounds cool. It sounds better. It could sound better with the hardware gear. I could put trust on that. But what you hear right now, you enjoy it and you listen and you like it. That's good enough. Sometimes it's just good enough. Oh, yo, yo, where that money go, go, go. If you ain't grow, 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 then get up out that dough. Do, do, cause I'm tryna grow, 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 get that money. Oh, 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 if you ain't about it, uh, no, no, get about the no, do, do. Let me know in the comments down below what kind of topic you could write to this. Maybe you write your own lyrics, I'm gonna read it out. But the last and final thing I do want to mention to you guys and girls is a lot of these devices, we kind of buy them just for the show of it, just to look at it and be like, I got this, you know, like I got two, three guitars, you know, and I haven't touched them in a million years, but I love seeing them on my wall and be like, yo, I got this guitar right there. Am I going to use it? Maybe not. Maybe not. Did I even use this keyboard today? Yeah, I just did. But before that, nah, nah, I didn't. I use the keyboard, I use the mouse, I use my mouth, and that's it. Just look at the devices that you want to buy and own, like a microphone for example, and say these three things in your head. One, can I or will I make a profit from it? Two, is it going to improve myself and my quality? And three, am I going to use its functionalities as best as I can? And I guess four, am I going to just put this on the shelf and never touch it again? Those four things you have to think critically in your head before you say, hey, I'm going to invest into this music device. So next time you look at a music device, just remember your boy Justin Omoe just use a keyboard and a mouse to create a beat in just about 50 minutes. And you did nothing while you have devices on your table.